Fuck, fuck, I feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing. Take me for granted, and you know I'm leaving. I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap. What's up, everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. This video, we're gonna talk about the tricks they use against us here in this AMC squeeze play, all right? And it's my intentions to do a couple of videos tonight. One is this one. One is called Lies We Believe, and the third one is How Do We Beat Them? That's my intentions. I hope I get around to them all. But now, the most frequent question that I used to get was, when moon? And people was wanting to know when we was going to take off and finally go to the moon. Now... I've seen a shift in people's questions to where they want to know how can we beat them because looking at what they just did to COSM you have to wonder is it even possible to beat these people have we fooled ourselves into believing in this mythological transfer of wealth that was going to make all of us uh, and all of our generations in the future happy and they want to know how can we beat them and I sit back and I ask myself you know what can we do well the first thing that I've noticed and that you're going to have to get down in your spirit is that we fucked this up people alright this was a magnificent fucking play and we fucked it up and I started my channel a year ago and I told y'all how we fucked it up or how it was going to get fucked up and people didn't believe me. But throughout the course of the year, I've had a, been blessed to pick up all of the subscribers that I have and more people watch the video. So maybe it can help us now, all right, that I break this shit down to y'all and I show y'all this is what they're doing and they've come up with a new technique but they've been testing it to see how it would work and if it would work effectively and it has and they just used it in COSM and they're going to use it in all the squeeze plays that are out there probably so you should be paying attention because I know who watches my videos okay people who feel trapped people who bought into the hype, people that bought into AMC believing in the Moas and are now trapped and they're steadily watching, you're steadily watching the price go down and down and down and you're wondering if there's any hope left in this play. I understand that. I understand and I know you're watching my videos, that's why I try so hard and if you watch a year ago from then to now, you'll see the difference because I take it so serious to help y'all see what I see and what they're going to be doing to hurt us and to hurt you. And I do what I can and say what I say and do what I do to help you. Now, if you want to get out of this play, you're going to have to do a couple of things, okay? And I'm just going to shoot it to you straight. You're going to have to stop. You're going to have to remove what you already know concerning this play. You have to accept the fact that they've put shields in our community and that they have been spoon-feeding us arsenic and steadily, slowly killing us with lies, with misinformation, and with just basically bullshit people to keep us distracted from the play. Cause see, I look at a lot of YouTubers and I'm wondering what the fuck is their deal? Because all they focus on is, for example, all weekend, we're gonna hear about how we got fucked over in COSM instead of saying stop, let's evaluate this, are they going to use this technique over here in AMC? Because they need the views. 99% of the people you watch don't care about you. They only care for the views. 
and you're going to have to come to that understanding. You're going to have to take what they've told you over the past two years, put it to the side, and learn it all over again. But it's a quick lesson. It's quick. Because you got the foundations, you just need to understand how to put the walls up and how to stop these people. And that's my purpose. Now, let's talk about tricks they're using against us. The most recent attack that they have used against us is what I call a financial rolling blackout. Okay? What that means is they will go from brokerage firm to brokerage firm turning off the buy button, the sell button, or both the buy and the sell button. And we witnessed that with COSM. But before we could talk about that and how they're using this as a means to defeat us, we have to go backwards. You have to look at what you know and what you believe concerning certain aspects of the play before you can even understand this. And by that, I mean we have to go back to the old school tactics so that y'all can understand, okay? The very first thing that we learned about this play was the ping pong method. They were using algorithm trading, high frequency trading. They were ping ponging the price. Lou made this kind of famous with, they were ping ponging it down. And I would counter and say, no, they're ping ponging it up too. It's called ping and pong. They ping it down and they pong it up. They were using the algorithms to do that. And that pretty much became how I became famous by explaining this. But they manipulated the stock's price by only allowing certain orders to be filled on the lit exchange. Then, after they would ping it up and down and set the price at what they wanted or needed, they would send the rest of the volume to the dark pools. Now, a dark pool is when volume comes in that interferes with the designated stock's price. Orders are sent off exchange to be traded. All right, now let me pull on up here and let's talk to you for a minute. Let's talk about these two tactics and what you are believing. First, you believe that they are using the ability to ping pong the price up and down and they can set that price at whatever they want. For example, Highcroft. Highcroft has not moved above a penny above 50 cents in a week. Why? Because they're pinging and ponging it. The volume. The buys and the sales. We're going to get to that. It's called spoofing too, but that's a whole other thing. But ping ponging. They know the price. I've told y'all this in the past. Y'all, They know the price. Monday, before the market opens, they know the price for that stock come Wednesday. <clears throat> it's hard to believe, but throughout the course of two years, you ought to have figured out by now. Look at Highcroft and how they keep it pegged to 50 cents. Why? Because they take whatever extra volume, buy volume or sell volume, and they send it to the dark pool. Okay? Now, if you understand this, then you have to do away with your belief in buying pressure or selling pressure. It's as simple as that. You cannot hold on to both beliefs. It, they will rip you apart and you will never move ahead. Either you have to believe that they are taking the volume, buying volume or selling volume, whichever volume they don't need, and they ship it off to another exchange called a dark pool to get rid of it. Then you have to come to the conclusion, people. There is no such thing as buying pressure or selling pressure. That is a truth in a normal market, but this is not... This is not a normal market. This is not a normal play. So therefore, if you can understand, and they are taking volume that's supposed to go to the lit exchange and move it to a dark pool, that removes the buying and the selling 
pressure. A lot of people can't get past that. And if you can't get past that fact, then you're not going to understand how this play is operating. Because you have to come to the conclusion that they control the buying and the selling pressure that goes into the lit exchange by controlling the volume. And then once you realize that and you said, you know what, I've been believing this bullshit about buying and selling pressure this whole time, and he's right. He's right. If they get rid of the volume, they control the pressure. Simple as that. That's the biggest thing that you can walk away tonight with is understanding that they control the buying and the selling pressure by shipping it to the dark pool. If the stock runs, they let it run. If the stock collapses, they collapse it. Okay, And they do that by a method known as spoofing, where they will take a large order and they will buy or sell. All right? If there's a big sell-off and they don't want the sell-off, they will throw in a huge buy order to offset that large sell order and keep the price at where it where they want it to be. That's called spoofing. Now, this is a clue for us, all right? They do not like to use this technique because it leaves a digital fingerprint behind. Okay? When they spoof, when they throw them big orders out there to offset another order that they have to do, then it leaves a digital footprint and they can be tracked back to them. So, they don't like to do it. That makes me think that if they don't like to do this, then why not? All right. What are they trying to cover? If they use a technique that is so sensitive that it leaves a digital fingerprint behind that can follow them back to their home base. What are they trying to cover up with that spoofing? That's the question you need to ask yourself. Spoofing. But again, when you're talking about spoofing and you understand what spoofing is, then you need to understand. There, you cannot figure out how to end this play if you still believe in buying and selling pressure because you're not going to go with any solution because that belief is going to get in your way with that I hope that helps um, people we can pull out of this tailspin this play is not dead it's dying and it's almost dead I'm going to be honest with you it's almost dead it's on fucking life support like he used to talk about Billy <laughs> but it ain't dead yet we could still beat these people and uh, I'm going to get that with the next video on a couple of techniques that we can use on how to beat them but the first step is getting over oh where's the buying pressure going to come from it's no such fucking thing they ship it to the dark pool with that love y'all be blessed See you in the next video. I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing. Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving. I'm going to take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believe.